Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of my videos and today I wanted to show you what I consider to be the best Checkmates in 2 puzzle in uh, existence and it's a very famous puzzle it was composed by none other than Paul Morphy a very strong, very famous uh, American chess player um, he actually composed this I believe when he was only 10 years old which is very impressive just showed some of the the genius um, of this particular player um, I always love showing this particular puzzle I, I, I tend to show it a lot to some of the weekly chess classes I run with some of the kids um, that I, uh, I work with in schools um, I always like showing this one because it's a very difficult one it always catches them out they think it looks really simple in reality it's actually a very very difficult puzzle to solve and uh, you know even to most uh, chess players out there this is a particularly hard one to solve so in any case I hope you are able to solve it if you'd like to pause the video and see if you can find the checkmate in two white to play okay so hopefully you managed to find the solution here um, but I'll just show you a couple of failed solutions and typically whenever I show this puzzle some of the things that are tried so typically I often see a lot of the the young players that I, I teach they often just try and capture this uh, this king thinking oh that's checkmates that wins that's, uh, that's attacking the king the obvious problem of this is obviously bishop captures uh, there is no mate here anymore uh, furthermore they also try things like you know capturing this pawn here of course this doesn't work either in fact black can just move his bishop away there's no checkmate in two to be seen or you know even just capturing here is also just as good so there's no checkmate now to be found so in order to solve this puzzle um, white needs to come up with a very uh, ingenious move and he needs to understand a very important concept particularly in these uh, checkmate in two puzzles and quite often you'll see this uh, this particular concept pop up a lot in some of the other hard checkmate puzzles that I've got on my channel and it's to understand a position known as Zugzwang so Zugzwang is basically a German word it basically means uh, you're putting your opponent in a position where he would rather pass his move than make a move um, so you're basically putting him in a position where he doesn't want to move but he has to unfortunately because that's the rules of chess and um, you know if it was black to move here it's uh, not a particularly good thing to be moving for black if he was to move his bishop let's say you know to any of these squares along here then white can simply deliver checkmate on a7 with the rook but of course if he moves this pawn let's say he moves his pawn forwards then there's no checkmate at all so we've got to find a way to stop this pawn from moving and put black in a position where he has to move this bishop now it may seem crazy and to a lot of you you're probably thinking well surely this doesn't work right but the solution is rook to a6 a fantastic move we've now put black in a position where he has to move this bishop now if he was to capture like so which looks like an amazing move by the way we're winning a rook this is in fact checkmate after b7 a beautiful pawn checkmate look at that this king defends the pawn this king has nowhere to go to he can't even capture his own pieces so he has been smothered by a white pawn going back now the challenge now for black is if he moves this bishop anywhere along this diagonal let's just say he moves it to h2 now white can deliver checkmate very simply with rook takes on a7 a really simple but beautiful checkmate in two um, position as I say it's one of my favorite ones but I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you managed to find the solution if you didn't let me know in the comments below but in any case I hope you also think that this is the best checkmate in two thank you very much take care